more and more scientists in Japan are pushing the boundaries of medicine with an innovative technique that's giving hope to people around the world. They're using human skin cells to cultivate iPS cells, which can develop into any kind of tissue or organ in the body. We're giving you a snapshot of this research over the next couple of days. Our first story looks at a team at Osaka University that is finding new ways to treat heart disease. Thanks to prompt surgery, Osaka resident Osamu Kuriki survived two heart attacks in his mid-40s, but he has had to undergo medical treatment ever since. He's 62 now, and his heart is so weak, it's hard for him to walk for even 10 minutes. His only hope is a heart transplant. Very few people can get a heart transplant. I really thought it would be the end of me. In Japan, only about 30 people a year have heart transplants. Professor Yoshiki Sawa of Osaka University has drawn on his cutting-edge research to treat Kuriki while he waits for a new heart. Sawa took cells from Kuriki's thigh muscle, cultured them into sheets, and attached them to his heart. Proteins from the sheet help to nourish and strengthen the heart. However, while this treatment does improve the heart function, it does not rectify the underlying problem. So Sawa has been focusing his research on iPS cells. First, he uses iPS cells to create heart muscle cells, which he forms into a sheet. Gradually, the sheet begins to pulsate on its own. Applying these cell sheets to the heart has a direct effect on its functioning. Using iPS cells, we can expect more effective regeneration because they work together with the heart muscle and behave just like the heart's own cells. Sawa and his team came up with a new method for transforming iPS cells into heart muscle cells. After being cultured for about two weeks, Some of the cell colonies start to pulsate slightly. After soaking them in a special solution, he forms the cells into a sheet. Eventually, the sheet itself begins to pulsate in unison. When five sheets are layered on top of each other, they begin to pulsate with greater force. Those sheets are then applied to the outside of the heart. The method has already been tested on larger mammals. This shows the heart of a pig that suffered a cardiac infarction. The heart muscle is thin, and its ability to pump the blood has deteriorated. After the cell sheet is attached, an improvement is noticeable. The heart muscle thickened as it formed new arteries, improving the contraction rate by about 30%. On a technical level, this procedure is sufficiently developed for use in clinical applications. Now we must work to ensure it is safe. There is concern that some iPS cells in the body could become cancerous. Professor Sawa is now working to address this problem. Clinical trials should start in three to five years.